I'm going to give everybody a moment to get on. Um, I'm trying to tighten everything up here. So we will uh, we'll see. There's no music today because I wanted to try to be quicker about all of this. Um, and also because Facebook made me mute some of last week's song. Uh, so I figured whatever. But if you know someone who wants to write me a theme song, hook it up because I need a theme song. Um, so hi, Sean. Let me know if the sound is working. We've had a few technical difficulties this afternoon, so I'm hoping that uh, the screen is working. It looks a little segmented to me sometime um, when things are moving uh, really close to the camera. So um, it is what it is, right? <clears throat> All right. We will give people just a few more minutes to get on. Well, not minutes, but like seconds, because like I said, I wanted to be quicker about all of this today. <clears throat> Going to get some wipes out so I don't have to crunch this in your face uh, too much today. I don't want to make a whole bunch of noise. How is everybody doing? How is your day? How is your weekend going to be? Um, I have a really busy weekend. We're hosting Bunko finally this weekend. Um, so I have to clean the whole house and make some food and get all of that done. And then on Sunday, we have a birthday party with the ladies of my stepdad's family. So we do like, um, <clears throat> it used to be seasonal, but most of us have like spring and summer birthdays. So this is that party. So we have a birthday for everybody and we're going to all bring a different uh, food item and it'll be fun. Maybe we'll play a game or something. Hi, Norman. Oh, hey, thanks. This is from Torrid. Um, I think it is already sold out, maybe. Um, I did get it on clearance, so it, it might totally be sold out. This is the first time I'm wearing it. I thought it was so cute. I like the little off the shoulder thing. And look, it must be I just get really warm when I get nervous because my chest is all red again like it was last week. Um, so eventually I'm sure I'll get used to all this, you guys. Um, Let's see. First things first. I know people are probably still coming in. Um, we have a lot to talk about today. There are a lot of boxes. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. But I have a few um, things to say at the top. Um, I wanted to mention the site subscription addiction. Now, when I posted about the limited edition Sephora Playbox <clears throat> on Tuesday, um, I mentioned subscription addiction, the website. It talks about all kinds of subscription boxes, not just beauty boxes, but the clothing and make, um, well, makeup would be under beauty, but some are just makeup. Um, I mean, all kinds of different ones. And I've used ones, um, I made a list of the different subscription boxes that I've used in the past, in case you had any questions, but um, BarkBox for the dogs, um, especially when we, first got Finn and first got Dobby. We got him like three months of BarkBox. Um, and I also had it with my previous dogs and it was a lot of fun. Um, Ivory Clasp I tried for free or, excuse me, nervous burps, um, or a discounted price for, um, well, through subscription addiction. So they had a special coupon code or whatever. Um, it was called Ivory Clasp, and it is where you get a handbag every month. And I really liked the bag I got. It was a different color than I would go for. It was like a pale um, pinky lavender. It was actually in my, my spring outfit that I wore on the news segment with the orange off the shoulder top and the purple jeans. Um, I feel like I'm like, I'm spitting or something. I'm also heavily medicated because I was going to have a migraine today. Like my neck and my shoulders are really messed up. So again, if I'm a little wonky, I'm highly medicated. Uh, otherwise, we probably wouldn't be doing this video. Uh, anyway, Ivory Class was great. It was also a smaller bag. I think I don't have to talk this loud actually too. Sorry. Um, it was a smaller bag than I would normally go for in a different color but it ended up going well with a lot of the things in my wardrobe. And um, I'm, I'm really glad that I did it because it wasn't something that I normally would have gotten, but it, it 
fills a hole in my purse wardrobe, essentially. So it is a fun thing to try, at least. Um, I've also tried Roxbox, which does jewelry. Um, they had rings and bracelets and necklaces and earrings. And I didn't really get the rings and bracelets because I have larger hands. So um, I think most of the things would not have fit me. Um, and then also I did the Vine O subscription box. And that one um, was for uh, wine. And it also had like little uh, boutique items or wine related items to go with it. And you probably heard the dogs jumping around. They've been a little crazy this afternoon. So <sighs> don't mind them. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's about it. So the vinyl one was cool. It came with three bottles of wine. And um, I think one had like a, a reusable wine stopper type thing. It was a silicone sort of cap. Um, and then it had maybe like some soap or chocolates. There was uh, various things in there. Bath bombs were in there too. So that one was really fun. Um, let's see. What else was I going to tell you about? May items that I've tried this past few weeks since we did our last beauty box. So I've been using this, uh, let's see, what is it called? Well Myung Skin Elixir. It's um, basically like a, a hydrating serum. That was from my Birch box from May. And I really like it. It makes my skin feel really hydrated, but it's like you're not putting anything on, you know? It's, um, it's watery, but they described it as kind of milky. So I think that that kind of... Um, because I think I said creamy a lot <laughs> when I did the last unboxing, but it's, it's watery, but has like a cream, that milkiness to it, but it feels really good. It's not oily at all. It makes my skin feel really great. So I would definitely recommend that. I've been using it. The next thing I tried was the Georgette Cleaner Coconut Cleansing Milk. Um, now when I did the unboxing in May, hi Desiree, I, um, I told you this one felt really good on my hand and it does feel really good. I wish the bottle was bigger. I needed more than I thought I would need. So if this was expensive and I don't remember how much it was, I probably wouldn't use it constantly, but it felt really good. It worked really well. Uh, and I really, really liked that one. And then I also ended up trying the St. Ives cleansing stick from the May boxes. Um, that was from the Target box, I believe. And I was kind of excited about it because I thought it'd be great for travel. However, I wouldn't recommend it if you wear makeup, <laughs> if you wear a lot of eye makeup. This is just going to be an extra step that you don't need. So if you don't wear very much makeup, if you need something like this for traveling, if you don't wear a lot of eye makeup, I think this would be great for you um, because you just rub it on your face, lather it up a little bit, and then rinse it off. But for me, I really had to like move it around constantly to get enough on to actually cleanse my face. Um, so I don't know if it's just like it wasn't as smooth. Maybe I needed a little more water on my face or something. Um, but then I couldn't go over my eyes with it. And I still had to go back with my oil cleanser and remove my eye makeup and stuff like that. So um, again, if you're not high maintenance like me, this is probably fine for you. And it smells really, it smells really, really good. Um, also, I wanted to know if uh, anybody went to Target and tried the Payless Shoes Mist, um, this is the Free and Lovely by Bodycology purple um, uh, label. <laughs> it's the lavender and amber one. It smells like Payless Shoes. I really want to know what you guys think. I had Sean sniff it when he got home, and he agreed that it smells like Payless Shoes. So... Um, I think that's everything at the beginning. We have a lot to talk about today. Also, I may look a little bit pale because I'm not wearing um, all of my makeup because we have makeup stuff in these uh, boxes and I wanted to try it on my face as we're talking about it. I thought that would be fun and I'll still swatch it on my hand, but uh, then I can apply it directly to me and you can see what it looks like. So um, let's get to it. We have two birch boxes. I'm sorry, I'm moving my little mirror and everything around here so I can see everyone. Um, two birch boxes. I went ahead and bought the, um, the curated box for the month. So um, with your subscription, you either get a choice uh, between three different products every month 
or you can choose the curated box, which you'll see all five samples, what they are, and you can choose to get that one. And it's usually, my nose is still stopped up, guys. Um, it's usually a curated in like a theme. I think one time Reese Witherspoon put some things together. So um, it's some kind of theme or person or idea or whatever that they go by. Uh, so one of these is the curated box. It's this one. So we'll go first. Um, let me show you what it looks like. It's all summery. There's little ladies on the beach. I think they had a chubby girl in there somewhere. Oh, I think this is the chubbiest girl walking the dog. So I was happy that they put someone in there that had hips. Uh, anyway, um, this is going to be the curated box that we're talking about first. Uh, the theme is warm weather pleasures. Um, not those kind of pleasures. So the first uh, product, let's see, let's dig in here is Red Earth Deep Dive Water Cream. It's formulated with ceramides and collagen, and it is a gel cream that melts into your skin and provides an immediate boost of hydration. So I really like these lighter moisturizers, excuse me, nervous bear, um, because they're, they're really light. They don't add a lot of oil, and the one that I really, really like is the Belief uh, aqua gel, aqua cream, aqua bomb, something like that. It's the lighter one. I really, really love that one because it's super hydrating, but it's not heavy. It's not oily. It's like a gel cream like this one. And it's just really lightweight, but it feels really good and it hydrates really well. Um, the next product is the Daveness Hair and Body Wash. Um, it's for head to toe cleansing. It's uh, Italian cit citrus extract, which nourishes the skin and conditions, uh, prevents damage on sun drenched strands. Um, so this is it. And I've tried this one before in other boxes, probably even Birch Box, because I know they um, have carried Daveness, but. Um, it smells a little bit like citrus to me. It's not a really uh, strong scent, and it just smells like really clean, soapy smell. Um, but I really like their products, especially their hydrating uh, shampoos and such. Uh, so next we have the R and Co. And I was actually I'm trying to tighten things up, so I've been through my boxes and taken off all the seal stuff, so I wouldn't have to fight with those <laughs> while uh, I'm wasting your time. Um, this is the waterfall moisture and shine control. Um, oh, and I haven't been telling you what the full size prices are. So for the water cream, the full there, there's the label. The full price is uh, twenty five dollars for the big size. Um, the Davines hair and body wash. It is. $24 for a full size. Um, and then the R and Co, what we're talking about right now, let's see if we can get up there and show you. Um, so this hydrates hair, minimizes frizz, boosts shine. It's a lightweight lotion formulated for all hair types. You can apply it wet before blow drying or air drying. Um, you can also apply it on dry hair to tame flyaways and nourish in. So we can use that right now, actually. Let's see what it smells like. So it is like a, a lightweight lotion cream. Like you can see it's kind of gel-like. So it's really, really light. It's not oily at all. And it's that, um, it does have a stronger scent. It's like a, um, like a clean soapy scent. But it feels nice. Like I said, it's not greasy at all, which that's awesome because I hate when hair looks greasy or wet. Um, it feels good. It just does, it has a very strong scent. So, um, it smells nice though. I like it. It's not, it's not a bad scent at all, but you know, if you don't like strong scents, then you're going to be, you're going to have to check it out. Um, so this is a beauty blender, tiny one, uh, original foam sampler. So I have one that's very similar to this. They're, they're a flat sponge and it also came with oh i guess you're supposed to dispense the water upon it so sorry nervous burp um you're supposed to dispense the water upon it and then watch it grow or something is the water going out oh okay oh the water's going out so we can watch it grow together <laughs> oh yeah it's getting bigger in there 
Okay, so I have one that's um that's larger than this one. It's it's probably about that tall, and it's flat. And I put it in my purse, and um I can blot during the day. Oh, it's crazy that they put the water in there. Anyway, I like beauty blenders. Um, they're more airy than the like real technique sponges i like the denser sponges but they blend stuff really well they work really well um you know they're popular for a reason um so yeah i think the little one will be good for like under the eye and around the nose and stuff so you know i don't have very many tiny sponges so that'll be nice to have uh let's see now we have the um Boutonique Beauty Glow Serum. The full size is $22. Oh, shoot. And I forgot to tell you, the full size of, of the Beauty Blender is $20. <clears throat> um, this is the Glow Serum. It uh, highlights with a champagne gold hydrating cream that's infused with nourishing apricot fruit extract. You can apply it anywhere you need a glow um, or mix it in with your foundation. So as you found out at the first unboxing, I love to mix liquid highlighter with my foundation. And this is one of the first things that we're actually gonna try on our face today, which I'm excited about. Let me move my mirror up so I can see. So it looks a little more pinky to me. Let's try it on our hand first. It looks very like silvery, taupey, almost. It's like a little bit of pinkiness to it to me. Not quite rose gold. It does look a little more silver, so we'll see what it looks like on me. I did bring some tools in case I needed to apply things. Let me get my little spot. This is a big beauty blender. It's, it's a little bit dirty because I've used it today, but... Um, they do get a little stained and stuff, <clears throat> but they work well. All right, I'm applying a little bit more of this highlighter. Ooh, that's a glow. I still think it's more cool toned, but I do like the, the pinky shift of it all. I think that looks pretty. I'm not used to using creamier highlighters just normally i usually mix things in with my foundation the liquid ones Oop, that was too much <laughs> highlighters high highlighter is definitely one of those things that you want to build up to instead of putting on too much and i find that the sponges and beauty blenders help to um to blend it out more i wouldn't be this particular but i'm actually running errands after this so i want to put it on so it looks nice in the normal places that i would put it so i think that's pretty it's not once you uh, blend it out it's not super overpowering or crazy it doesn't look um can y'all see that it doesn't look too overdone. Here, you know what? I can zoom you in too. How far do I want you to go? Okay, so let me turn like this so I can actually see what you're seeing. There we go. Sometimes I can't tell if you can actually see. I need to blend that out a little bit. Anyway. It's nice. I, I'm wasting too much time on that. <laughs> but it feels good. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, so that's always a good thing. All right, so that's box one. That is the curated box from Birchbox this month. I have a little box to throw things in because I made a huge mess at the last unboxing. I really did. Everything was everywhere. Okay, let's, you don't want to be like, oh, meesh. You can see my skin texture. Jeez Louise. Okay. Let us talk about the net. So this is the actual like birch box. And I chose, what did I choose? Oh, the, the, this thing. Okay. It's the beauty protector. 
Uh, protect and Tangle. This is a paraben and sulfate free detangler. It protects against UV rays and heat styling while also preventing color from fading. Um, a full size is $23.50. So it's basically a leave-in conditioner and it smells really awesome. I actually kept the bottle after I ran out of my last sample of this and I have bought a full size before. Um, but I kept the bottle and just put water in it because it has this vanilla smell. It's like a warm vanilla smell. It smells really good. So I put water in it and sometimes I would just spritz it on my hair so my hair would smell nice. Especially like if, you, if you're if you doing like second day hair, just a little bit of dry shampoo and this, mm -hmm, it's good. All right, so they also sent me a fragrance and you know, I'm not super into fragrances, but sometimes they send me one. This is the Toka Maya Parfum. A full size is $25 to $72. It's supposed to be a fruity floral fragrance that exudes confidence and femininity. And it features a blend of sweet violet leaf and black currant plus rose dem demacina, jasmine, and sandalwood. I'll just spritz it on here. Let it dry for a moment. Um, doesn't smell fruity to me. But it is like a lighter but kind of warm floral scent. It's actually really nice. I like those warmer, warmer scents. I don't know. It smells good. I like it. All right. Moving on. <laughs> we have the Puri Purity Made Symbol Moisturizer by Philosophy. Uh, this is a, a lightweight, non-greasy moisturizer. Oop, <laughs> wrong side. Made with vitamin C and E. Um, I like Philosophy. I don't normally use their skincare products because they have parabens in them, and I'm trying not to uh, to use those. It's a very light. Um, it has a, a little bit of a creaminess to it, but it's almost gel-like in its its lightweightness. Um, it does. They said non-greasy, but it feels a little slick at first, but as you work it into your skin, um, it almost has like a, a mattifying look to it, almost. And it feels good once it it gets into the skin and it doesn't feel greasy or weird after that. So um, not much of a scent at all. I don't really smell anything. So <clears throat> that's good for everyone who uh, doesn't like those heavy scents. All right, next we have Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. The full size of this is $24.50. Um, oh, and the full size of the Philosophy one is $25. Sorry, I'm, my brain is all over the place, and I keep forgetting to tell you guys all the stuff. Uh, so this has, it's a serum. It has skin brightening and uh, toning vitamin C. It protects the skin from environmental stresses and hydrates throughout the day. Um, so I love Derma E products. I I like the scrubbiness of their face scrub, but it smells like a public restroom. Like it, it smells like um, like the cleaners that they use in a public restroom, and so I don't like that about it. But um, I do like their other products. I have, um, oh, the, the cleansing oil that I use is the Derma E Rose Oil. I think it's Rose and Argon. Um, and they have some uh, serums. I use an eye cream from them. Um, I think there's a lip scrub or something. I'm trying to remember everything. But uh, also a night cream. But I, I really like their products. So this is just a really light whew, serum. It's almost kind of watery. Um, it feels good. No, I don't smell anything, so there's not going to be anything uh, weird for you guys. All right, and then I also have the Model Co. More Brows Medium to Dark uh, Brow Gel. It's a gel formula that you put on your brows to add instant thickness. It contains hair-like particles to fill in the sparse spots. Um, you apply and wait 60 seconds to let it dry. It is $18 for a full size. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna use this because <clears throat> my brows are looking sparse today. 
like I said, I didn't fill them in because I knew we were going to play with something. Let me get my mirror over here because this is, I put some little messages on the back of my mirror for you guys. Um, let me see if we can, oh, you know what? Let's zoom you in too a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why I do that face every time I zoom you in. Okay. All right. Hopefully we don't have some kind of crazy issue. So you can see what I'm doing. All right. So first I'm going to take my little brush. I haven't put my setting spray on either. So I feel like, and I'm also testing out the ColourPop foundation. So I feel like I look a little bit different than I usually do. And it's kind of freaking me out, but um, we'll see. <clears throat> so I'm going to brush my brows up first. So they look nice. And then we're going to take this gel and hope that everything goes okay. So it's a really small, really small brush, but ooh. see, I hate when it gets those first particles on there, but let's see if we can do that. I mean, it does definitely add color and thickness to it. <laughs> Well, that's not too bad, actually. I mean, definitely the front of my brows could use some help, but they've always been that way. <clears throat> oh, I need my, my Q-tip so I can clean up some of that. Again, I wouldn't be so particular since we're just trying stuff on, but I actually have to go somewhere. So, um, you know, bear with me. We're hanging out, right? Oh, hey, Chrissy. Hi, Travis. <laughs> All right, let's do this one. Oh, see, that goes on a lot smoother. It doesn't leave that gunky first part. But it really does. Are y'all seeing this? It really does darken things up really well. That would save a lot of time, actually. I I would still need to fill them in, but but that's not half bad. I mean, to start. <clears throat> All right, so this is probably a little bit darker. I'm gonna have to go in with my lighter pencil, but um, that's not too bad. And so if you don't have like big areas that you have to fill in, like mine are pretty sparse. Um, and I have this scar from when I was four. Um, if you don't really need to fill them in, this would be really awesome. But again, this is a little bit darker too, just because my hair is a little bit lighter, but, um, yeah, I like that so far. And you, I can see like the little, let's see, I don't know how close I can get it. There are little tiny hair particles on there. So those essentially should get stuck to your brow and uh, and give you that extra thickness. There are some uh, mascaras like that where they have the the little hair things on them. And I, I haven't had much luck with those. They usually end up coming apart or something. Um, brow pins always make me nervous. Oh, the color looks good on me. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, it looks a little bit dark in person, but I think if I just go in there with my lighter brow pencil, it'll be fine. Um, it does lay down a nice base, so it, it, things look a little fuller already. Um, yeah, brow pens, like like the ones that kind of look like markers, those kind of scare me because I don't want things to be too dark. But um, I really like, so, so this is the Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz. I like this one because it comes with the little spoolie on the end. Mine's kind of messy, sorry. And then it has this really fine tipped pencil and it's not, it's pigmented, but it's not like crazy pigmented. So you can go in there and here, I'll show you right now which brow am I on. Um, so you can just go in there and lightly start to shape things, but it's not going to be like super heavy handed looking. And ColourPop has very similar ones where it's really fine tipped and it's not as pigmented, so you can fill things in. And I just kind of use a, a really light hand and then just fill it in. And I don't even need it on all of my brows, but it does end up making a difference. I don't know if you can tell in the in the thing. Oh, see, I, you can do it a little too heavy handed, but 
it's kind of hard to to talk and do it at the same time but uh you get the idea and so then i end up i'll fill it in and then i'll go back in with the brush to kind of blend things out a bit and then if need be i can clean up with a flat um eyeshadow brush or a q-tip like this but um i need to fill them in a little bit more but you get the idea um the pencil the thin pencil like that is a lot easier than the brow such and such that you'll find oh where's the box oh okay let me let me zoom me out one more so i used um some of my points to get this arrow uh let's see it's the enhancing brightening eyeliner um i just had it added to my thing because i wanted to try it this is one of birchbox's house brands uh, we're on to the ipsy bag it looks like this uh let's see the first product is going to be the luxie beauty 245 small shader eye brush it looks like this i love getting the luxie beauty brushes in my bag uh, this one is for loose pigments, powders, cream eyeshadows, and even concealer. Um, it's small with a rounded brush head. <clears throat> ah, I dropped my papers. Okay. Um, it is very uh, kind of stiff. You know, there's not a lot of movement to it. This would be good for um, applying shadows wet also. So no animal testing. The bristles are synthetic. They're vegan. They're cruelty free. They're hypoallergenic. Uh, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, it should be good. I'm excited about that one. We are going to go to the pure Brazilian leave-in conditioner. It's $26 for a full size. Um, it is hydrating and helps repair and protect against environmental damage um let's see it has it helps restore keratin proteins so you get smooth and shiny hair uh it smells like coconut apparently we'll see mm, not really coconut but it smells warm it looks like that so that'll be fun to try i'm excited about that so the next thing we have is the Caudalie Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet. It's $20 for a full size. Now, I've used this before through, uh, through various boxes, and I really like their products. They are very hydrating, and they feel very good. Um, so this is a cooling sorbet that's formulated with special technology that traps water molecules inside the cream and turns uh, to gel as you apply it to flood your skin with moisture. It also has grapeseed extracts which help to hydrate and protect your skin from pollution and free radicals. It's soothing, softening, and soaks in as soon as you put it. So it's a very lightweight creamy type moisturizer and it does kind of turn into like a gel feel. It's very lightweight. It does feel really, um, really nice. It's not greasy at all. It feels good. Next, we're moving right along. We have Sahi Cosmetics. The eyeshadow in this uh, particular container is in the color Dubai. It is $22 for a full size. Uh, Sahi Cosmetics was created by a scientist named Shelly. She studied how colors complement skin's undertones and then mixed up shades that flatter for a variety of different complexions. She caters to women of medium uh, skin tones with yellow and olive undertones because she saw that women of Arabic, Indian, Pakistani, Mediterranean, and Hispanic descent needed more, um, more different color combos that would work with their undertones. So this is a metallic foil eyeshadow. It's made with crushed pearls that catch and reflect the light. It's highly pigmented buildable and moisturizing so your lids can wear it comfy and this color dubai is a creamy golden bronze color so let me show you what it is looks like that is it's so pretty and it almost looks um flaky in there but uh and almost like super powdery let's see what it looks like Ooh, 
<laughs> Sorry, I keep going the wrong way. So it mainly looks really sparkly, but I'm going to try to apply it wet um, after I apply it dry and we will see what it looks like. So let me get my brush. This is a color. Um, all right, so I'm going to put some on. We're going to wet it. And then we are going to apply it on the lid. It doesn't seem like it's very pigmented as far as um, a bronzy color or any kind of color, really. But it is really sparkly and really, really pretty. So that's nice. It is buildable. I mean, that's the second coat, and it looks really, really pretty. It doesn't look really, um, it doesn't look crusty or anything. Sometimes when you apply them wet, they can look pretty crusty. So I'm going to wet this again. So, Chrissy, I'm wetting it with uh, MAC Fix Plus. You can also just spritz it with water. Um, that totally works fine, too. I like the Fix Plus because it just feels like it um, helps things adhere a little better for me personally, but, um, but you can just use water. And there we go. So it does have a, a, just a tiny bit of pigment underneath, like a, a bronzy color, but, um, but not necessarily. And it's, it is super sparkly. It's very pretty. I really like it. I think it looks nice. Um, before we do the last thing, which is blush, this is a Vasanti concealer buffer brush that I got with some of my, uh, Ipsy points. So you can leave a review of your bag and the different products and you earn points. Um, you earn points for sharing about different things. You earn points, um, for other people signing up under you. So if you use my referral, I do get some points when you sign up. Um, excuse me. And, uh, the next thing is the Ofra. Let's see. Have my sheet. Uh, the Ofra Cosmetics Blush in Melon. This is what it looks like. Comes in this. Um, Ofra is kind of new to me. I know I've had um, a liquid lipstick from them before, uh, but it was a color that didn't look that great on me, so I didn't use it that much. I have just recently tried their highlighters, which are awesome. Um, we're about to put this on. And I also um, have a few extra things from different companies like Ofra, like JD Glow, which is an indie brand. Um, so if you want me to go over some of those um, products and brands, like a little haul video, I would totally do that for one of these. Um, so this is just a pan blush. You're going to want to put it in a Z palette, which is essentially a magnetic palette for these free uh, non-compact makeup things. I'm using this real, oh, Royal and Lane Nickel. I always think it's real techniques. It's Royal and Lane Nickel. This is uh, a powder brush. It's a small one, so it's probably one of their travel ones. Um, and I really like these, so we're going to see what this color looks like. <clears throat> So that's pretty, uh, pretty bright. I look a little clownish. So we'll, we'll fix that. We might have to blend it out a bit with our hand. So that's okay. We're going to go back in and kind of make it look a little better. I look like super flushed. That's pretty crazy. Uh, let me go grab one of my other brushes. I think it was a pretty good bag. I like the extra makeup stuff, and I like the brands that they provided in there. So that's good. All right, we're done. Next, we're going to talk about Sephora Play. I have two Sephora Play bags to go over with you guys. <clears throat> the first one is the regular one. And... The theme is Welcome to Beauty Boardwalk. Um, so like I said, they come with these things. They usually have some extra tips and stuff, and then they talk about 
the different products. So we're going to open that. The other Sephora Play is the one that I posted about a couple days ago, the limited edition one. So I'm excited to get to that too. <laughs> All right. So here's the bag for that one. Super cute. Uh, so I have used some of these products. So we're going to talk about those really fast. This is the Belief True Aqua Bomb. So this is the one that I mentioned earlier. And it is like a creamy gel uh, uh, texture. <clears throat> it's very hydrating. It feels really good. Uh, we also have the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. Um, this is very liquidy. It's not super oily, but it does work really well. Um, I have a full size of this that I've been trying to use sparingly just because I really love it and it works really well. Um, and I can't remember how much the full size is. I think it's like 15 or 20. So um, anyway, definitely recommend it. I kind of want to save that one for when I go on my trip. So uh, the next thing we have is the Alterna Hair Care Caviar Anti-Aging Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist. So I actually use this today. Um, it's my favorite volumizer because it gives you the volume and a little bit of the texture, but it doesn't have that gritty feeling. It doesn't have a filmy feeling. It's not like a typical salt spray where it kind of has that texture to it. Um, so this is really good. I highly recommend it. Like I said, I used a lot of my samples until I needed to get a full size and then I grabbed that full size. Uh, the fragrance, they always give a fragrance. This is the Prada Candy Sugar Pop. <clears throat> it's a fruity and delicious scent uh, with apple, bergamot, vanilla, and a sweet ending that's anything but ordinary. They always come up with the craziest ways to describe fragrances. Um, sometimes I wish I could be the fragrance description writer. I think that'd be really fun. So we're going to spray this. Ooh, ooh. Um, no, I don't like this. I don't smell anything that they said I would smell. It just smells, it just smells like a really strong perfume. I don't like it. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. No, thank you. Um, what do we got? Um, Argon Nut Free for the volumizer. Uh, let me check, Desiree. <clears throat> do, do, do. Sunflower extract. And did you say you said argon? Um, fragrance, perfume. I don't see argon or any nut oils or anything. Um, seems like it's free of those. So we also have milk makeup. Kush Mascara in Boom Black. It's a conditioning mascara that uses cannabis oil to nurture lashes uh, while heart-shaped fibers add clump-free volume. So it's supposed to help your lashes look thicker and longer while uh, hydrating. It's got anti-inflammatory tonka oil and moisturizing poppy seed oil. Um, so I'm going to curl my lashes real quick and then put this on and I will show you guys what it looks like. So it's a milk makeup. And there we go. And it has a really thick brush, which I kind of like these thick brushes like this. I think they look really, they usually help things look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. <clears throat> There we go. And then we're going to apply this. So I'll do one side and then we'll see what it looks like compared to the other. The thing for me though is I usually like tubing mascaras because then they're really waterproof and they don't go anywhere. Um, the only non-tubing mascara, wow, that made a big difference, that really um, works for me is the Benefit Roller Lash. And also the benefit, um, I think Bad Girl Bang is what the other one was called. And it, they stay really well without um, bleeding down. But, oops, this one does seem to take longer to dry. So don't, like, look too, too much around. Hi, Anita. 
I would definitely go with um, a tubing mascara. I think Clinique makes one. I forget what it's called, though. It's like, um, uh, like volumizing something or the other. Uh, but then there's also the Roller Lash, the Benefit Roller Lash, and the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Those are two that I really like. I've been using the Roller Lash for a while, and it's one that doesn't go... Yeah, the thicker brushes. Okay, so this is the... Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. It uses cannabis oil to hydrate. I'm oh, sorry. I don't even know what I'm doing with my hands. Um, uh, to nurture lashes. It's clump free. It has little fibers. I'm going to do my other, other eye so I don't look all lopsided. And then um, I'm going to try to be careful so I don't get it on me right away. But it does definitely add that length and volume. I think it looks really nice. Uh, um, also, like with eyeliner, I really like the It Cosmetics one. That's one that really stays in place for me. And if you like liquid eyeliners, if you ever do a wing or anything, um, I really like the Stila liquid eyeliners, the waterproof ones. All right, so we are going to move on from that mascara and there's a lip product that we're going to talk about next let me get some water so this is the Too Faced melted matte liquefied longwear matte lipstick Ooh, and queen bee it is a long-lasting lightweight lipstick that goes on like a gloss but delivers bold full color <clears throat> so this is what it looks like it has the little sort of doe foot applicator. Oh goodness, it's not, there you go. Um, this is not a color I would probably gravitate towards, but let's try it. It just looks more cool toned to me. It's not terrible, it's just lighter than I would go for. It feels good. It feels very lightweight. <clears throat> a lot more lightweight than a lot of the other liquid lipsticks. Let me uh, clean that up a little bit. <clears throat> we shall blot. <clears throat> Alrighty then. That is the first Sephora box. Now we have the Sephora Smarts. This one comes in a glittery bag. This is the limited edition one. Um, it's on sale online now. Um, I don't know if it's out yet, but it does have the little color changing sequin. So that's really cute. You know, I love sparkles. So <clears throat> I liked that about it. Let me take all of our, our stuff out so we can talk about it. All right, so first up, this one's called Glitter Eyes for Real Life. We have the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Kitten Karma. Now, if you haven't used these things, they're so awesome. They're so great. So I have, I do have a little one of this one, and I got the set that also has, um, I think, Bronzed Bell and smoldering satin so there was a, a kit with three and i know sephora still has it because i just saw it and i also have the big sizes of i got three um uh some kind of bronzy one. Oh shoot and wanderlust which is like a pinky gold and rose gold retro which is a rose gold a lot of them have like sequin um silver based glitter and the two new ones that i got have uh gold based glitter so they do stay in place. They're really easy to apply. And you know what? We should just apply it on here. Um, so it does have a little applicator. It is very sparkly. Super sparkly. And we will go ahead. And I'm going to take this little flat. Um, this is also a ColourPop brush. Dobby's right below me. He came to see how things were going. We're going to zoom in. All right. 
Uh, so I'm just taking some of this, let's see, can you see it? Some of it off of the applicator with this brush. All right. And then I just pat it on. I kind of start in the middle of my eye and then work my way to the front. And then I don't want to go too far on the back because I like it to be darker on the side. So, and it just adds that extra sparkle. It's super duper sparkly. And it looks really, really pretty. And it stays in place. There's, there's no fallout. It's easy to take off with a makeup remover or whatever when you wash your face. Um, so I think, I mean, I don't wear contacts, so I don't know if you'd feel comfortable using that, but you're not gonna have all those particles and stuff falling out <clears throat> like you would if you just used glitter and like a glitter, well, I don't know, even the glitter bases work pretty good, but I know um, it's harder when you have contacts and you don't wanna risk it. So as I'm putting this on, some of the particles from that other sparkly shadow we put on are coming, they're like falling off. So um, that other one I'd probably use way more wet than I actually used it because I am getting that fallout with it. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of clean up that mess a little bit. And I will even go in with this fluffy brush to blend out the top part because I have hooded lids. So when my eyes are open and that skin touches the, the skin on top, then that color and stuff transfers. So it is very sparkly though, which is nice. I always love to be extra sparkly. Ikea is not going to know what hit them when I walk in. So that'll be fun. <clears throat> All right. That's the first one. That's our Stila. Okay. So we're going to zoom out because I don't think there's anything else to try on. There we go. Um, yeah, Desiree, aren't they really pretty? Yes. Um, so next we have Bite Beauty. This is the Prismatic Pearl Multitask in Rose Pearl. So this is a wearable shimmer that you can use as an eyeshadow, as a lip product, excuse me, as a highlight, even though it's too dark for me. But um, I... <laughs> Let's see, let's do the, this bottom part. So it is more of like a, like a, uh, a bronzy pink color. There's almost like a, a gold shift. I mean, a green shift to it. Let's see if I can, I don't know. It is, it's an interesting color. So I'm going to put it as a topper over this lipstick and we're going to see what it looks like. <laughs> It actually looks really pretty on top. It just gives it like a, like a sheen. Um, not quite metallic, but just like a, a satiny finish. The next thing is Grande Cosmetics Grand, Grand Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. So this is an award-winning lash enhancing serum that promotes rapid growth with vitamins, amino acids, and antioxidants. Um, this is the tube of it. This doesn't have the prices of the full-size things. Oh, this one's close. See, this just came in the mail like at lunchtime, so um, I was hoping it would arrive so I could show you guys, but it still has the, the stuff on it. <clears throat> All right, so it has a little brush like that, and so basically you just put it along the top, like after you, you wash your face and everything, put it along the top, and that's supposed to help uh, your lashes grow. It had really good reviews and stuff online, so uh, check that out. <clears throat> I'm excited to try it. Um, you know, anything to make my lashes longer, right? We also have, let's go to the next thing. Oh, so this is the Benefit Bad Girl Lash Volumizing Mascara. It's an ultra lightweight mascara that uses aero particles derived from space technology to add volume and length without clumping. So I, um, I've tried this before. It came in an, a birch box, actually. It has this 
uh, sort of triangular head with the like silicone sort of flexible tip to it, but uh, it it works really well. Um, these brushes take a little bit of getting used to for me. I really like the fluffier ones better, but uh, this stuff works really well. And also um, the Benefit Roller Lash works really well also. Um, it stays in place uh, pretty good. It does add, I'd say it adds more length than thickening. So, <clears throat> um, you know, maybe you'll have a different experience with it. But for me, it was more lengthening than actually uh, volumizing. <laughs> All right, so next we have the Ole Heinrichsen Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is a brightening eye cream that targets fine lines and disguises dark circles with its yellow hue inspired by banana powder. So if you don't know what banana powder is, it is a, um, a yellow tinted face powder. A lot of people use it as a setting powder um, to set their makeup. And so that yellow hue um, helps... Uh, diminish the darker spots. Um, so like if you have uh, maybe some dark spots or like the dark under eye circles, it's supposed to help that um, and kind of uh, brighten your overall skin tone, essentially. So this is what the powder looks, or what the cream looks like. It's an eye cream. Uh, it does have a yellow tint to it. My hand is covered in sparkles, but I'll wipe the lid. It's got some there so we can look at it <clears throat> so it looks like that it feels really nice it feels very smooth and hydrating um i don't see necessarily a tint but that's something that i would definitely wear under makeup as long as it wasn't too um too greasy and i'd use it at night to to brighten and it's supposed to um help with fine lines and dark circles so you know what the more the merrier i love eye creams i've been trying a lot out lately <clears throat> all right and last up from this bag i think we're uh we're moving along relatively oh no it's it's already 6 30 isn't it we still have more bags um we had some issues didn't we guys uh so this is the sephora collection i'm like taking it apart before i even tell you about it Sephora Collection uh, Contour Eye Pencil 24 Hour Wear, wear raw, Waterproof in the color Black Lace. So this is just a really dark um, black color. It's waterproof. These do stay really well and they have a lot of um, shimmery options as well. Um, and even some with a little bit of glitter in them that are really pretty and they stay in place. They don't go anywhere. I really like the shimmery ones. Um, they're very, they remind me of like the Urban Decay pencils um, where they do have that pigment <clears throat> and um, uh, and they, they stay in place. They don't go anywhere. So we're going to put this on because I need some eyeliner. I did a little bit on uh, my waterline, but I like to add some to the top lash line as well. So we're just going to smudge some of this in there. And I should actually get my little brush so I can even everything out. <clears throat> I am using this angled uh, Royal Inlay Nickel. <laughs> it's a Royal Inlay Nickel brow, br brow brush. And so I am just using that to go in and smooth out that line that I just created. And then once it dries down, <clears throat> it stays. Hopefully you can see it okay. I really like the Sephora eyeliner. It's definitely a budget-friendly option. Um, I believe the... Urban Decay liners are like 20 or 25, and the Sephora ones, I believe, are 14. Um, they have a lot of colors to choose from. They have those different finishes. They have matte, which is what this one is. They have a, um, a shimmer finish and a glitter finish. And like I said, they work really well. They stay in place really well, and they're not super expensive, especially if you're um, not someone who wears a lot of makeup. Maybe you want to get into it. Maybe you want to play around with it. Maybe um, you just need it for a specific occasion. A lot of those Sephora collection items work really well. And the eyeliner is definitely one of those things. So the Birch Rocks Man 
It's pretty simple. It's a manly box. It's from Birch Box. It has man products. Um, I ended up getting it for Sean for a Christmas present, and I just answered the survey questions. You don't ask about your skin, your skin concerns, that kind of thing, uh, your grooming habits. And I answered it for him, um, and then we tweaked it when he was getting too many things for shaving and stuff. He has a beard. So we tweaked the, uh, the survey, and um, he's been getting stuff that he really likes. So I'm just going to show you kind of what's in it. This is the Blind Barber Lemongrass Tea Tree Shampoo and Body Wash. Uh, a full size is $24. Um, it's a daily wash uh, that uses lemongrass and hops to cleanse and moisturize. It's sulfate free. It's good for um, skin and hair. So we're going to give it a sniff. It smells slightly citrusy to me. Not necessarily lemongrass like, but... Uh, but yeah, it smells good. I, I feel like um, a lot of the products he gets has like a citrus or a minty or a um, kind of herbal like rosemary or um, like this one is a fur um, smell. So they're a little bit, you know, they're manly, but they're not, um, they're not, uh, what, what am I trying to say? They're not overpowering and they're things that um, that I like to use too. Like I really like the smell of them and stuff and I, I've used some of the moisturizers and stuff like that. Uh, so then we also have this little packet of number four hydrating conditioner. Uh, excuse me, a full size is, whoa, $78. <laughs> it's a nourishing conditioner that tames locks with a blend of marine extracts and oils. So I'm not gonna open this yet, but I really like the number four uh, products. There's a leave-in conditioner that smells really good and works really well from that company. Um, and I know it's not $78. That's pretty crazy. Uh, let's see. What else we got? We have this Anthony exfoliating and cleansing bar. So a full-size one is $17. I don't know how big that cleansing bar is, but that's really expensive for soap. It smells really nice. Uh, so this uses, it's an exfoliating bar that soothes and softens skin using jojoba spheres and coconut oil. Um, it smells like grapefruit to me. Very fruity and citrusy, which I like. <clears throat> and these are great for Sean too, because he doesn't go through a whole lot of products. Um, and he hasn't used that many products before. And he can also take all of this stuff traveling with him. And it works really, really well. Uh, so we have the uh, DTRT Skin Saver. This is a high-powered face cream that helps to lock in skin's natural moisture for longer. Um, it contains ceramides that act as an invari invisible barrier to keep moisture in. So it looks like that. I can check out, see what it looks like. So it's just a, a lightweight, creamy moisturizer. No scent, really. There's maybe like a really light, light scent. It almost, almost fruity maybe, but it's hardly anything. Cool, cool. I don't even think Sean has seen his birch box yet. So uh, this is the Pilot Men's Grooming Feel Good Moisturizer. It is 1995 for a full size. Um, it's an all natural moisturizer that hydrates the driest of skin with a shine free finish. Um, it's packed with natural oils to regulate your own uh, oil production. No shine, no greasy, unscented. So that's good because Sean also has oily skin like I do, um, except his skin's been doing really, really good lately. But um, I also use a, a um, shine, uh, an oil control serum and then an oil control moisturizer. So it feels really good. It doesn't, um, <clears throat> it doesn't feel really mattifying. Um, it feels soothing. It's very lightweight. It isn't greasy at all. There's no scent. Um, yeah, I even want to use that. That one sounds good. All right. I did bring my garbage can just in case. Let me get my little wipe because I'm making a mess now. <clears throat> All right, next we have uh, Northern Fur. Northern Fur, sorry guys, beard oil. Uh, the full size is $25. They scented oil that will soften and condition 
even the coarsest of facial hair. Um, so that's going to be helpful. I know he's used a different beard oil. Um, it comes in this little, little vial there, like a little perfume thing. Ooh, that smells like the woods. That smells like Christmas time. Like, I don't like to get uh, a, a real tree. I like a fake tree. But, you know, if you're going to hang one of those things in your car or on your tree, on your fake tree, it does smell like that. It's not super overpowering. It's not like full on Christmas tree, but it smells nice. Okay. And then we're almost done. And this crazy, crazy day can be over, right? We have the wee box. <clears throat> Uh, this is a box all about Scotland, and we are going to get into it and then call it a day. Again, I'm sorry for the craziness. I have no idea what's happening, and I'm going to figure it out. <sighs> all right. So to, uh, the theme of this box is an afternoon tea um, with the cultural legacy of Charles Rennie Macintosh, which is Scotland's famous designer. Um, for his landmark 150th year since his birth. Um, that is what this is all about. Um, Charles Rennie Macintosh, there was actually um, a art school that was named after him that actually just burned down, which is really, really sad. <clears throat> it was built in 1893 or something like that. Yeah, it was, um, ooh, ooh, I got questions. Does your husband like to use those products more than stuff you could buy at Walmart. Um, yeah, yeah, he does because a lot of them are made with really good ingredients. A lot of them have um, like organic or natural products um, and they, a lot of them don't have like parabens and stuff like that in them. So um, they're just like better quality. And I think um, for me and for him, um, you can tell in the quality of those things. Um, and they're not all like super duper expensive, you know, but um, yeah, I think it's a lot, to, uh, it's, a, it's a lot. It is hard to convince a lot of husbands to try those things. Um, Sean's a little more easygoing than most. So I was able to kind of get him to try new products because he did have really bad acne and really oily skin um, when I met him. And so I was trying to help him get rid of those things or at least keep them under control because I had also had those issues. And so I'd use things that I really liked. Um, and so he was more open to trying them. And I think that has helped him uh, be more open because he saw results in those things, be more open to use other products and stuff. Um, all right, Charles Rennie Macintosh. Uh, so this is a, a painting by him from the Glasgow Art Gallery and Museum. So they, this is a pretty big print for the box. It was in there and kind of uh, folded up a little bit. So they also sent this Scottish afternoon tea. And I think I forgot to read the description of products before. Oh, there's Sean. He said it's nice to try those things out without having to buy a large expensive thing that he would end up not liking. Yeah, so it is nice to try the sample sizes because with the birch box, they are um, they are higher end things, uh, you know, that you don't normally find at Walmart. So um, they would be a more expensive product to commit to. And it is nice to try those samples, which is why I like getting a subscription box, too, because, you know, you don't want to pay like twenty five dollars for something that you don't like and it's a pain to return or whatever. So thank you, Sean, for saying something. Um, so this is Brody's Scottish Afternoon Tea. It is said to be Queen Vic. It is said that Queen Victoria, during a stay at Balmoral, enjoyed her blend so much she introduced it to England to become the iconic tea that it is today. And so they give you this tin with the teas. I've also gotten a gin-infused tea from them that is really, really, really good. So I'm excited to try this one. And they kept that theme of the, uh, the tea with um, Charles Rennie Macintosh because they give you, let's see, we'll get to that in a minute. They give you this really pretty tray. This is the um, the Macintosh Rose from this particular dude, right? So this little tray, there's a coffee mug and a little spoon rest that all go together. And they give you some Scottish shortbread. So this is a, um, 
a short bread straight from Crystal's Kitchen near the Bonnie Banks of Lac Lamont. So cool. I love short bread, so I'm really excited about that. And then they also give you this Macintosh Rose enamel pin. And it's really, it's really crazy that the building ended up burning down like the same month that this theme was Weebox. It's so sad, but people have been um, donating money to kind of help out and stuff because it was a school, um, an art school. So that uh, it's always a bummer when <clears throat> crappy things like that happen. So then there's also a little book about Charles Rennie Macintosh. Um, I really like the little books they include because they do have quite a lot of information in, in a little book. And so they do have like a picture of the school and like design elements and stuff um, that he had a hand in and things like that. So <clears throat> I believe this is Tr Charles Rennie McIntosh. He was born in 1868. There he is right there. Um, and yeah, it's really fun to learn about things. I mean, I haven't been to Scotland yet, so it's nice to learn about the culture and different uh, different artists and um, icons that have come out of there that I normally wouldn't uh, know about and to um, to taste the wonderfulness of Scotland. So those are all of our boxes, guys. It was a lot and it took us a while and um, things got hairy there for a little bit, but I love you for sticking around with me and um, I am going to uh, kick ass and then take names after that. So uh, thank you for joining me. Next week, we will be discussing foundations, concealers, and setting powders. And hopefully, um, no racists will join us. So that'd be great. Uh, take care. I love you. And I will talk to you later. Bye.